All right, this is gonna be fun. There is a BIOS update for the Radeon 7, and I've been thinking about if I should run it or not, but I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Hopefully it'll work. I'm testing this out for you, so you have to run it as administrator. And, and that's it, it's done. That was easy. I'm gonna go into Radeon settings, system, and hardware. That's still the old version of the BIOS, so I assume I have to restart my computer. Just installed the latest vBIOS for the Radeon 7. A bit scared because I'm doing it via eGPU. The good thing about this BIOS update is apparently it fixes a couple of issues. It allows you to overclock the card faster, allows you to use undervolting better without crashing so much, and for me, what I want to try out, I heard that it allows you to reuse the AV1 encoder of AMD without stuttering. So let's see if it does all these things. So we're now 038 instead of 030. Currently drawing 250, 260 watts of power. The fans have gone straight up, shooting up to 3000 revs per minute. So it's very loud. And we're getting 88 mega hashes a second. So I'm just gonna auto undervolt this system and see if the card doesn't crash. Hit apply. So we're getting $2.2 at 250 watts. And that's auto undervolt. All right, we're now gonna be testing out the Radeon 7 in Luxmark, OpenCL. So it's drawing around 200 watts. Fans were going 2,100 revs per minute. And we got an excellent score of 50,296. Overload it a bit. Last time I tried this in the previous BIOS, it just crashed out my system. So I'm gonna put the power limit to plus 20% and see if that runs. So the fans are ramping up a lot higher this time. It's already got shot up to 2,500. And we still only got a score of 50,207. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when you click on auto undervolt. So the power draw is a lot lower now than our previous runs. We're getting less than 195 watts. Fan-wise, we're hitting 2,200. So it's very similar to our previous runs. And we still got 50,177. So that's a really good score for the auto undervolt settings. No crashes, nothing like that. Whew, okay, that was it. You can install the vBIOS update via an eGPU. I was a bit worried about that, but it worked.